Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and this is Normal here and today we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two mid-range devices under the 30,000 price segment. We have the OnePlus Dot C3 launched recently. Along with that, we have the segment fastest or powerful device, the Poco F5. Now, Poco F5 comes with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 chip while the OnePlus Nord C3 comes with the Snapdragon 782G Pro Octago processor. So, two really powerful devices uh, in the sub-30,000 price segment. So let's see how good they perform. Uh, so this is the speed test comparison. So we'll be opening apps and then we'll see the memory management. We'll see the anti-2 benchmark score, the network speed and also the Geekbench 6 uh, results. So that's the speed test comparison we are going to do. And uh, before going into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us, uh, the OnePlus Nord C3 and the Poco F5. So let's just take the about phone on both the devices about device uh, so you can see here oneplus not ce3 uh, with uh, qualcomm snapdragon 782 here we have the snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 mobile platform android 13 on both the devices both have 12 gigabyte ram and uh, here we have oxygen os 13.1 uh, here we have miui 14.0.4 uh, so both the devices have quite uh, a lot of aspects uh, similar uh, but then they also differ in various other aspects as well so we just cleared off all the background apps on both the devices so let's just see the network settings as well so both are connected to the same wi-fi network and uh, both are in airplane mode as well so once again clearing of all the background apps so there you go let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which opens asphalt 9 faster so we have enabled the game mode on both the devices uh, so games would be uh, definitely faster with the game mode so let's see which opens faster So here you can see here OnePlus was slightly faster in opening Asphalt 9. So next uh, game would be uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So let's see which opens uh, this faster. So here you can see that uh, Poco was slightly faster. Now next is uh, Play Store. Uh, here Poco is uh, faster, Chrome browser, so we will just leave it because it got a notification. So uh, Facebook, once again uh, Poco is faster, Twitter, uh, once again Poco is faster, Instagram, here again uh, Poco is faster, Spotify, once again you can see here Poco is faster, Amazon. Uh, OnePlus is faster in loading the entire images. Flipkart, again uh, Poco is faster. File Manager, OnePlus is faster. Settings, almost same time. YouTube, again uh, Poco is faster. Gmail, again you can see here Poco is faster. Camera, once again Poco is faster and finally Maps. Here again, Poco is faster. So you can see that. So as you can see that, uh, just the Asphalt 9 was um, faster on uh, uh, the OnePlus Nord C3, but most of the other apps were faster. Uh, in fact, a couple of uh, them were also faster on the OnePlus Nord C3. But more or less, if you look, uh, the Poco uh, F5 did have an advantage over opening of apps. It was faster than the OnePlus Nord C3. It's quite obvious because the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 is way more powerful than the Snapdragon 782. So it's uh, quite obvious here. So that was the speed test. Now let's see the memory management of these two devices. So let's open the apps in the uh, reverse order. So let's uh, go here. So as of now, all the apps are available in the memory. So there you go. So since it has 12 gigabyte RAM, uh, most of the apps are already available in the memory. So there you go let's go to the games so games poco has uh, reloaded it while uh, it's available in uh, uh, the oneplus not c3 now this has been reloaded let's uh, wait for this to load okay there you go it has been loaded now let's finally go to asphalt 9 so asphalt 9 both have reloaded it so in terms of memory management you could see that uh, oneplus not did have a slight advantage especially in that one game but otherwise a uh, more or less similar in terms of performance again so that was the speed test now let's go to the network speed of these two devices so we have uh, the two devices so both are connected to the same wi-fi network and both uh, uh, 
here you can see we start with uh, OnePlus Nord CE3. So again not much of a difference uh, here quite similar speed while upload was slightly faster on the OnePlus Nord CE3. So next uh, let's uh, go to the anti to benchmark score uh, so this is where uh, uh, things uh, take a big difference you can see here 6 lakh uh, 50,000 here we have 11 lakh uh, 8,000 almost double the score on uh, uh, the uh, Poco Fi so he, this is way more powerful in terms of GPU and even CPU you can see here GPU score is uh, almost double while CPU is more than 1 lakh difference so obviously in the, if you are more into gaming and other stuffs the Poco fi is the more powerful chip out of there uh, because the snapdragon 782 is no match to the uh, snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 chip so that's the uh, android benchmark so next uh, let's uh, see the geekbench test as well so we'll just open now uh, the geekbench and start the test so let's see uh, how the performance is on these two devices So now we have the results so you can see here once again very drastic in terms of results 1116 1647 1674 is the single core score and uh, 2765 is the multi core while here we have 4463 this is almost close to the snapdragon uh, uh, 8 plus gen 1 chip uh, from last year's almost close so it's a very very powerful chip so that was the uh, geekbench result of these two devices so that was the speed test uh, of uh, the poco fi with the newly launched OnePlus Nord CE3 5G. So if you want a gaming device obviously the choice would be the Poco Fi uh, because it's a way more powerful device but then uh, the uh, OnePlus Nord CE3 5G is also slightly lower priced compared to the Poco Fi. So this starts at around uh, probably around 25,000 uh, with card offers. This is starting around uh, say 28,000 I believe uh, with card offers. So there is definitely a difference in terms of pricing but both are below the 30,000 price segment. So which of these devices would you pick? Do let us know in the comment section. So this is normal signing off with the speedest comparison of the POCO FI with the OnePlus Nord CE3. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.